Let's take a look at the binomial distribution, uh, specifically finding probabilities uh, using Excel 2010. Our first step is going to be to identify a number of trials, that'll be n. Second step is to identify the probability of a single trial, and that'll be little p. Uh, this is often given as a percentage. Uh, three says list the x values the problem entails, and then rewrite with any quality slash equality symbols. And then four, use the table on the following slide to determine how to enter the function. And we'll come back to this table, um, but let's start looking at our problems. <coughs> so they tell us n is 30. There's no really digging around to find those, and these they just give them to us. And p is 0 0.25. Okay, a. Exactly 8. So exactly 8. Well, that means um, x is equal to 8. And uh, this is already in the equality form, so that's good. Okay. So step three, list the x values. We listed them. And it's already in the equal equality symbol, so that's good. Then use table on the next page. Our first form says if you've got the probability of the x is equal to a number, that's what the a represents, then use this. So for this particular problem, this is going to be our a. <coughs> so we rewrite this as um, equals. In Excel, it's actually an equals there. Binom dist, uh, beginning parentheses a, which was 8, and then comma n, which is 30, and then 0 0.25, our p, right here, and then 0. 0 means that it's not cumulative. Uh, 0 represents false. So let's put this in. Come over here. Again, you have to put in equals. Binom dist. Uh, beginning parentheses 8, comma 30, comma 0 0.25, comma 0. And close parentheses and enter. <coughs> so this gives us 0 0.1593. And let's look at B. B says less than 17. Well, let's think what that represents. That's x equals 0, 1, 2, all the way up to less than 17 means it doesn't include 17. So that'd be 16. <coughs> okay, so we're... Step one and step two are already given up all these. It says list the x values. Well, we just listed the x values. Then it says rewrite with any quality symbols. Well, that's the same as saying that x is going to be less than or equal to 16. Now, 16 is going to be our a, and let's go look this up in our forms. <coughs> x is less than or equal to a. x is less than or equal to a is our second one here. So it says we're going to rewrite that as binom dist and a which was 16 comma n which is um, 30 p which is 0 0.25 and then it tells us to put 1 in 1 is for cumulative it means it adds up all probabilities from 0 up to 16 so let's go put this in Excel equals binom dist 16 comma 30 comma 0 0.25 comma 1. <coughs> and that gives us 0 0.999, um, nine, 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 well, three nines and eight. Let's look at our part C. These cover all the different cases you'd ever run across, by the way. C says at most 12. Part of uh, the hard part of this is figuring out what in the world these words mean. Um, at most 12, though, that means 0, 1, 2, all the way up, and including 12. So um, that's my. First part of step 3 list the x values. Then rewrite with any quality symbols. Well, that's the same as x is less than or equal to 12. Um, now this is the 
less than or equal to case, this will be our A. Same as one we just did. Um, so this is binom distribution. And again, if I were to come over here, <coughs> x is less than or equal to A is the second form. It says binom dist A in P1. So A in P and 1. So let's go see what that is in Excel. Equals binom dist um, 12, 30, 0.25, and 1. Close parentheses and then enter. And that gives us 0 0.9784. Okay, D. More than 20. And I'm missing a parentheses there, but oh well. So more than 20. Well, um, let's see, that's going to equal to, let's list the X values. More than means doesn't include 20. So 21, 22, all the way up to 30. Now these are our, our forms we're having. And uh, if I put this in inequality, this would be x is greater than or equal to 21. Um, 21 is our, our a. So if I come over here, x is greater than or equal to a value is our third form. So that's 1 minus binom dist. And um, that tells us a minus 1. So 21 minus 1 would give us 20 here. And n, which is 30. Yeah, 30. And then p, which is 0 0.25, and then 1. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go put this in Excel now. Equals 1 minus binom dist, uh, beginning parentheses, 20, comma, 30, comma, 0 0.25, comma, 1. And close parentheses. Pretty small probability. It says 2.818 e negative zero seven. That's like ti times ten to the negative seven. Means I move my decimal place seven places to the left. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, two, eight, um, and one eight. <coughs> and that'd be our probability. Right, now let's look at E. at least 25. So at least 25. Well, let's list what down at what x values that'd be. At least means it includes 25. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. <coughs> okay, so um, then uh, over in our PowerPoint here, st that's step three, tells us to rewrite with inequality. Well, this is saying the probability that x is greater than or equal to 25. Well, form-wise, that again matches our third form. So 25 is going to be our a. And this tells us to, um, what does it tell us to? 1 minus. So 1 minus binom distribution and uh, a minus 1. a is 25, so this would be 24, comma, n, which was 30, comma, little p, which is 0 0.25, and then 1. <coughs> so let's go put this in and see what we get. Probably something real small again equals 1 minus binom dist 
beginning parentheses, 2430, comma, 0 0.25, comma, 1. Enter. Even smaller. So we get 3.206. E to the negative 11. So th that means move my decimal play at point th uh, 11 places to the left. So we'd have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 3, 2, 0, 6. And then our last one. Between ten and to ten and twenty inclusive. <clears throat> so between ten and twenty. Well, let's see what that means x value wise. Well, that means uh. Uh, between 10 and 20 inclusive means it includes those values. So 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 18, 19, and 20. Okay. Step 3 says list the x values, which we just did, and then rewrite the inequality symbols. Well, this is uh, like going from 10 to 20. So we write it in that form. And that's our last form here, where you got between two values. So this is going to be our A, and this will be our B. <coughs> so our formula equals binom dist B, which was 20, N, which is 30, P, which is 0.25 and 1, minus then binom dist and then it says a minus 1 well a was 10 so 10 minus 1 gives us 9 and then 30 and then um, 0 0.25 and then 1 <coughs> so let's go put that in so equals binom dist um, 20, 30, 0 0.25, comma 1, minus binom dist, 9, 30, 0 0.25, and 1, and then close parentheses, and then enter. And that gives us our probability, which would be 0 0.1966. And that's how you uh, put various uh, binomial into your, into your calculator. And again, this table encompasses all of your different possibilities. Once you list your va x values out, which is the first part of step three. And that's how to find um, probabilities for the binomial distribution uh, using Excel 2010.